Hi guys, it's Tom here. Um, I'm just going to show you a mini tutorial, and it's how to uh, edit drum loops. Um, now, obviously, it comes with a few loops already here, like these and one old drum loop, as it calls it. But you can, you, you know, you can bring in your loops from GarageBand by just, uh, uh, I guess, by just making a, um, yeah, so by just making a making an mp3 file and just putting uh, edit, um, adding it to here and or download um, your loops from the internet and put them into this now it's a it comes free with a uh, with the software and it's called slicex you will need this um, this plugin and you literally just find a, find a loop drag it to there and it detects the kicks, hi-hats, snares um, and all that with uh, because you know, there's so many programmed into it so it can detect them like that and then you shouldn't have to fiddle with it, you might have to a bit with um, with uh, if you have if you're using one that's not already uh, put into FL Studio and with that you know you can you select bits and trim them, make sure these are in the uh, right place, so you find the find the right. If it's if it says hi hat on a kick or something, you can change that about. And then it gives you this in the piano. It gives you these in the piano roll. Uh, so at the moment it sounds like this. Um, so you know you can just fiddle around as much as you want. So I'll just. Go a bit crazy. See what that the idea and you can make your own little piano roll thing of a loop and you can completely edit it and that's pattern one so you know just paste it into there whatever and I'll now do that and then you'll just put it all together and it's very simple you can do that with any loop you may have to edit it a bit if it's not from Apple Studio but it's simple like that okay thanks bye